This is Gene Key, KDD News. A group of current and former prosecutors and lawmakers are asking Texas Governor Rick Perry and other state officials to delay the upcoming execution of an inmate so DNA evidence in the case can be tested. Hank Skinner is set for execution November the 9th for the 1993 death of his girlfriend and her two sons in Pampa. His lawyers have asked state and federal courts to order the test, which they say could show Skinner is innocent. On Thursday, officials, including former Texas Governor Mark White, sent a letter to Perry, Switzer, and State Attorney General Greg Abbott asking them to allow the testing. The Texas Panhandle fell just short of having a white Halloween. An early snowstorm dropped as much as four inches of snow on the northern and western portions of the Panhandle Thursday. Meteorologist Andrew Moulton of the National Weather Service in Amarillo says the snowstorm formed in the mountains of Colorado before its southern portion clipped the Panhandle. The official snowfall total of 3.1 inches for Amarillo beat a daily record for October 27th of 2.4 inches set in 1911. A four-inch accumulation was reported in Canyon. Here in Dumas, the extreme cold temperatures have prompted multiple freeze warnings to be issued. KDD meteorologist Greg White will keep you informed of the latest weather conditions for Moore County. Every October, thousands flock to the small Texas town of Curo for a race between two turkeys. At stake, Q Rose identity as the turkey capital of the world. Farmers from miles around would herd their turkeys into town for the turkey market. A few years later, Q Rose officially gave itself the title turkey capital of the world. For the first time in the race's history, both birds ran into the crowd and had to be carried across the finish line by their handlers. Team Paycheck held on to its lead and won the 2011 Great Gobbler Gallop. This is Gene Key, KDD News.